Hello everybody. It's Friday. Time for Facebook Friday. I hope you've had a great week. We are gearing up down here in South Texas for some cold weather and I bet most of you are as well. I don't know about you guys where you live, but here it's very exciting. <laughs> Probably not where most of you live. All right. I see you guys jumping on. Good. I'm so glad you're joining me. Today's projects are kind of long, so I'm going to try to not talk as much. <laughs> We'll see. I'm not very good at that. We'll see. All right, let me pull you guys up and make sure I'm in the right place. Hello. Hello from Nebraska, Pennsylvania. Hey, Denise. Okay, so let me just share this over to my page real quick. Uh, da, da, da. Right place. All right. Okay, so welcome to Facebook Friday. We are going to be doing the Hey Birthday Chick stamp set and the Hey Chick stamp set. Um, you may not recognize this one or you may be like, oh yeah, I have that. Um, and I'm going to tell you all about them in a little while when we get started. I have three really, really cute projects um, featuring these chickens, these crazy chicks. Um, but let me run through some things first. Uh, where do I start? How about, you know what? How about I show you while we wait for people to jump on? Let me show you. I got a few more cards this week. Really beautiful. You guys are just spoiling me rotten. This is from Lena. She lives in um, Canada. And look how gorgeous that is. You guys know me. Pink, black, gold. Uh, Lena, I love it. Thank you. She's also a demonstrator. We actually went to a... <sighs> I don't even know what to call it. It was like a, a weekend focus group one time in Salt Lake City. Um, it was about seven of us and she was there and I was there and we got to know each other and it was it was nice. It seems like a lifetime ago. But anyway, I love it, Lena. Thank you. And this came from my downline, Anne Marie. You guys probably know Anne Marie Heil. Look at that beautiful card. She's She's a beautiful card maker. I love it. She's also our swap coordinator for our team. So when I, when I went over to this week to drop my um, all the things that needed to go out with our swaps. She had left me that beautiful card. Look at this one. This screams Erica. <laughs> Red and white buffalo check and sunflowers are two of my favorite things of all time. I've told you guys I had sunflowers in my wedding and I have red and, and black buffalo check everywhere. It's my favorite. So I loved this. This was from Cindy and when I opened it, there was there were gold stars that fell out of it. Cindy, thank you so much. And I like the size of this card. I'm noticing this is becoming a trend. Um, I think they're called slimline cards. Is that what people call them where they're like tall and skinny? Maybe I need to do that. I, I have gold, gold stars dropping on me now. <laughs> um, and then this one, this is beautiful. This is from um, Jillian who also lives in Canada. She's um, Angie's downline, I believe Jillian, am I right? Yes, I think so. Um, it's beautiful. Sunflowers again. You guys just, you're so good. Thank you. It was exciting to get mail from Canada. It's from a long way away down here in South Texas. All right, so let me run through um, just some announcements. Let me do that first. I want to remind you that my downline Patty is doing a ribbon and a paper share. She still has it open. Um, she still has spots. So if you did not get a ribbon share for the spring catalog or a ribbon share, make sure to hop over there. Um, check her out. I'll put her link in today's video description. Okay, so in case you guys need ribbon or paper, she's really good um, and you can trust her. She'll deliver an excellent package for you. Um, second, the, what is today? February All-Star Tutorial Bundle. Um, gosh, middle of February already. Can you believe it? Uh, it is out. Love you always. It has 12 video tutorials that feature the Love You Always suite of products. Here's my project this month. I am in love with those dies. They're so awesome. Um, but anyway, you get this free when you shop with me. You spend $50 anytime in February. And it's also available in my PDF store, which you can find the link at the top of my blog. Um, and it you uh, they're listed alphabetically. There's hundreds in my PDF store now. Um, go down to the L. I think it would be under L. Love you always. Um, some of them are listed under the A for All Star, but I think it's under L if you want it. 12 tutorials, there's links in here to the video tutorials. Um, 
I did one and then there are 11 other demonstrators who designed them. So if you're looking for love you always ideas, it's there. All right, the Hydrangea class, um, Hydrangea Haven class to go. Um, if you've never gotten a class from me before, it comes delivered to your mailbox. I send you an email. What is happening right here? There's this crazy hair right here. I can see it. It's like a, it's like a unicorn horn or something. It's distracting. <laughs> there we go. I think I tucked it away. My classes come delivered to your mailbox. I email you a PDF and you do it whenever you want. You don't go anywhere. You don't have to be on the computer at a certain time. You do it at 2 a.m. if you want. You do it on a Sunday afternoon if you want. Um, they're done at your convenience. They come organized, um, cut and scored and all of that. You will need the dies and the stamps. I don't stamp any images. That's against policy. Some of you think I would do that, but I would not. That's the rule. You'll also get a quarter pack of this gorgeous hydrangea paper and the pearls, which are on back order now. I have enough for those of you that have registered and I am hoping to get a sprout. Yeah, I'm hoping to get the rest. Hopefully they won't be on back order too long. But uh, this class, the deadline for this class, let me show you the whole thing, is Friday, next Friday. Um, you get it, you can get it with the bundle, without the bundle, um, PDF only. And then my downline gets it for 20 bucks, okay? So the details for that will also, I'll update that link today. It's also at the bottom of today's blog post if you wanna go over to pinkbuckaroo.com. Now, the second class that I just listed this week is my Springtime Joy class. This is an Easter class. Um, this stamp set is so stinking cute. It has, it has one Easter sentiment, really. Um, but I designed these with Easter in mind. They could be easily changed to non-Easter, but, um, the little bunny is so cute and the little lamb too. Um, this class comes with a video as well as a PDF. I think the video is like 45 minutes long. I show you how to color and I show you how to put all your projects together. This has a pretty quick turnaround because Easter is the beginning of April. So the deadline for this class to go which will include a pack of paper, three bolts of ribbon, the make and takes, PDF. You can get it with a stamp set, without the stamp set. Um, the deadline for this is the 26th of February, and I will have it in the mail on by March 6th. So you'll have it in plenty of time for Easter, okay? So there's that. I will update today's video with that link, but it's also there on my blog. Um, you have to email me for that registration link. I can't list those on um, social media or on my blog. If you get my emails, I sent it out this week in an email. Um, I send an email, uh, like an email blast, you know, like a newsletter. Um, it's not really a newsletter, um, but it's kind of like a newsletter. <laughs> I send those out about once a week and they always have the links in them for my classes. So you don't even have to email me to ask me for that link if you're on my email list. Um, and you can join my email list. There's a button on my blog and it'll, I'll update today's video with that link as well. The next thing, and I took it all down. Well, you can see some of it. See that right there? Club Create. I am in the process of prepping Club Create. It's my biggest job all month. My Club Create has gotten huge. Um, Club Create is a monthly subscription that I do and it's a kit that comes to you every month. It's $39. It includes roughly $20 in product and five projects, a PDF and a video. Um, and when you subscribe for six months in a row, you get a $25 product credit. So I am working on this month's, we're doing the sweet strawberry. I have it all cut and ready. Now all I have to do is pack them up. Um, so that means now the subscription window is open for March's Club Create. And March's Club Create, is the ice cream, the sweet, sweet ice cream, sweet cream, whatever it's called. Isn't that cute? It's very cute. Club Create for March will feature this bundle. It doesn't include the bundle. You can add it on if you're interested, but it has four cards. Check this one out. It's a shaker. You guys see it? It's a shaker. Um, four cards and one 3D, it's gonna have $20 in product, it's gonna have a video and a PDF. 
you can subscribe to Club Create anytime for this Club Create. You can uh, subscribe anytime between February 8th and March 7th. So March 7th will be the cutoff for March's Club Create. Um, at the top of my blog, there's a button that says Club Create. I will also update today with the link uh, if you're interested. And it is a subscription, but you can cancel anytime. You can sign up for a month and then cancel it. If you're like, that's the only one I want, that's totally fine. But if you stay on for six months, I send you $25 in product of your choice. You get to pick what you want. All right, so there's that. That is coming. Well, let's see what else. You know, I think I'm going to turn you guys around because I want to show you something that is coming in March, but it's also available in um, the starter kit. So let me turn you guys around. Let me turn you around so that you can see this new butterfly stuff that is coming. Now, you can't order this butterfly stuff right now. However, you can order it. Um... Let me open my video, it closed somehow. You can get it in a starter kit. So those of you who've been thinking about buying the starter kit during celebration, of course, this is one of the things that you can add because demonstrators right now can pre-order it. It's called Butterfly Bouquet and it has a stamp set and matching dies that will be in the annual catalog in May. But then it has this gorgeous paper that is only exclusive for the next couple of months. This will not be in the annual catalog. So if you love butterflies, this is for you. Look at this. Now, let me show you what's really cool about this. Um, the stamp set is one big stamp. Okay, see that? And you can um, use a clear block, the big clear block, or your stamp apparatus, which is probably what I would do. And then there is this awesome giant die that cuts out the butterflies. Let's flip it around all at one time. Isn't that nice? Yeah, I love that. And then not only are there these dies, but there's these also. I mean, it's a huge set. Oh, the other thing I was going to show you is that they, these dies can cut out these butterflies on the paper. So anyway, I, it's not available right now um, unless you buy it in the starter kit. That's the only way you can get it. If you've been thinking about getting a starter kit and you don't know what to get in your starter kit, this is an awesome option. Um, what else was I going to tell you about it? Oh, we will do Facebook Friday with the uh, butterfly. What's it called? Butterfly bouquet in March. I think that first Friday in March, this is probably what we will be doing. There's also this special paper too, that looks like wood, but it's real light and thin. Isn't that beautiful? All right. So I just wanted to get that out there. So you didn't think I was holding secrets from you because you're going to start seeing, um, some of it online. I'm sure people are going to be showing it. Um, but you can, um, buy it in your starter kit. So let's talk about the starter kit real quick. How many days left until celebration? I have a countdown on my blog. I think it's like 17. Celebration 2021 ends the end of this month. Don't get caught off guard because usually it goes to the end of March. This is going to end at the end of February. Um, so everything in here, all the things that we like, that we've loved, the donkey, the ombre paper, the flower and fields, all of that is free from now until the end of February 28th with your purchase. Um, now, here's a little thing I don't know if I've told you guys, but there's going to be a celebration part two in the summer. It's coming. It'll be two months in the summer and it'll be all new products. So this is going away, but we're going to be, we're going to get another two months in the summer where we get free stuff with our purchase. So it's coming. That's why this one's been shortened to make time for the part two, celebration part two in the summer. I can't wait. Um, so just so that you know that. The other part of celebration that I have been telling you about is the starter kit. Now the starter kit is available anytime and the starter kit is always $99. You pick out $125 of product, anything you want in the annual or the spring catalog or the clearance rack or those butterflies. And then you also get to pick out, uh, well, you get $125 in product for just $99. So you're saving $26. You're also getting free shipping. I love free shipping. Do you guys love free shipping? Like free shipping sucks me in. If somebody sends me an email with free shipping, I always order. The starter kit has free shipping. And during celebration, you get these five packs of designer series paper. 
that are not available anywhere else right now. Um, they're every color that Stampin' Up! has. There is pattern paper in these packs. These will be the new pattern packs in the annual catalog um, when the annual catalog comes out. So it's kind of a sneak peek. So $125 of product plus the paper for $99 free shipping. Only till the end of February. I heard you guys say it. February. Um, it's, that's what I used to do with my class. I would have them say it back to me so that I would know that they know. <laughs> Once a teacher, always a teacher. All right, let me put all of that away. And how about some door prizes? So funny thing, here's the door prizes from last week. Maria Gomez and Cheryl Rusma. So sentimental. When I went to pull out today's prizes, guess what I found? The matching dies for these. So ladies, not only have you won the stamp set, but you've met, you've won my favorite Stitch So Sweetly dies. I almost gave these stamp sets away without the matching dies. I can't believe I was going to do that. So Maria and Cheryl, I may have your mailing addresses, but it's going to be easier um, and faster if you will email me or message me your mailing address so I can send you these. Thank you for sharing my video. I do appreciate it. Debbie says you also get a paper pumpkin in your starter kit, and so did Lisa. I always forget to say that. Um, it's like a secret. It's not advertised in the, cell, in the starter kit. You get um, a paper pumpkin kit, just a random paper pumpkin kit, and I always, always, always forget to mention that, which is like an additional, what, 20 bucks, 20 something dollars? Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, this week I have two different prizes. I have two bundles, Art Gallery and Lots of Heart. And if you share the video this week, you'll be entered to win. And what I want you guys to do this week is comment that you've shared, but then tell me which prize you want to win. So when I choose you, I'll know which one to send you. Because if you really want this one and then I sent you that one, you'd be disappointed. Maybe you already had it. So if you share the video, tell me which bundle you want to be eligible to win, okay? Art gallery, lots of heart. They're both good. I think yeah, maybe this one's my favorite. I don't know, they're hard because this one's really good too. Okay, prizes. All you have to do is share the video and comment, tell me you shared, and tell me which video, it, I mean, which bundle it is that you want. All right, that was fast. I got all the announcements done in, oh, well, I guess it wasn't that fast. I thought it was like 10 minutes, but it's been, what, 18 minutes? <laughs> okay, if you have never joined me for Facebook Friday, welcome. If Cindy's here, look, Cindy, your stars are everywhere. I love it. So fun. Um... I sent Rhonda, my friend Rhonda, a card like that one time, and she was so mad at me. She said, I'm going to pull your hair. She, she says she's always going to pull my hair when she gets mad at me. Um, <laughs> I made a mess in her in her studio. Okay, so Facebook Friday is um, right now, obviously, every Friday, 2 o'clock Central. I pick one bundle or one product, and we make three projects with it. Um, if you like the projects and you want them for free as a make-and-take kit, you put in an order between now and Monday at midnight. Um, use the host code to make sure it's over $35. And next Tuesday morning when I get up, I pull all the names, I cut the kits, and I mail them on Wednesday. This is what they look like. They come with everything that you need to make the projects. And I make a little thank you tag. You do need the stamps and the dies for what I'm showing you. So, like, let's see. Um, so, like this one. You needed the stamps and those dies, but I die cut the other things that you needed. Does that make sense? So if the dies are in the bundle, I'll cut it for you. But if you need the stamps and the dies to make the projects, so like today, oh look, some more stars. <laughs> Today's projects, you will need the chick dies and the birthday chick dies, but everything else I will cut for you, like the scalloped rectangle, the circle, um, and what else? I guess that would be it this time. Um, okay, let me put this back and let's talk about these bundles. So if you have been around for a while, you will recognize Hey Chick. That means, if, what does that mean, Erica? I've been around for a while. If you've been shopping with Stampin' Up! for several years, the this stamp set was a celebration product back in 2017 right guys 2017 
wildly popular. Everybody loved the chickens. So this year, when I looked in the new spring catalog, I saw this stamp set. And I was like, oh, look, they brought back those chickens. How cute. And Stampin' Up! was like, just wait, we've got a special announcement. There's a surprise coming. And the surprise was that not only this is in the catalog, but online, you can also get the matching dies. And you can get this, the Hey Chick stamp set, if you don't have it, with the matching dies as well. Now, if you still have your Hey Chick stamp set from 2017, here are the dies. You can order the dies. I know. Guess what? No fussy cutting this week. Let me hear it. I know. You're cheering. Ah, because Erica fussy cuts all the time. We don't need a fussy cut. Look at these dies. They are so fun. So not only do you have the four images, but look, we've got a hutch, we've got chicken wire, a little uh, tree stump, a sign, the corn. Oh my gosh, the corn is so funny. Um, and then over here, we've got a fence and a banner, happy birthday, a grain sack, a bow, um, the little, little baby chicken. So really good dies, really good dies. Stampin' Up! You did a good job with these. All right, so that's what we're going to do. We're doing two bundles today. Hey, birthday chick and hey chick. All right, well, let's get started. These are kind of, well, I wouldn't say over the top, but I would say involved, involved. All right, let me pull over my stuff. This first card, we are going to do some watercoloring. I love to watercolor with my water, my new water painters. Um, if you go over to pinkbuckaroo.com, you will find under the third photo, a link to a PDF that has all the information you're gonna need for this. It has the measurements and it has the supplies. Uh, today's PDF looks like this, and this, <laughs> this one was a really long one. It has a lot of supplies, so the measurements are over here on this side, okay? Um, this is what it looks like. I have a new button now that you can click on instead of just words. Why it took me how many years to say I needed a button? Click here for the free PDF, it's there. So you can click, hopefully, has anybody tried it? Is it working today? Hopefully I got it all set up. Um, anyway, three of the things that I talked about are over here too, the hydrangea class, the Easter class, and the starter kit details. And the host code is up here if you decide you're gonna put in an order, okay? Okay, let's get started. We're gonna need to do some water coloring first because we need it to dry. So I'm going to bring over, I need to grab my grid paper down here. Let's use this grid paper. Look at this. It's kind of wild, this grid paper. Um, what was this from? On stage or something? Yeah, on stage. On stage virtual? I don't know, but look at it. It's wild. Okay, we're going to do just a watercolor wash on the back of this, or on the front of this stitched scallop rectangle. This is from those Stitch So Sweetly dies. This is our watercolor paper. Can you see how it's textured and it's thick? And I'm just going to do um, a balmy blue, just kind of a, a, a abstract sky. I've See what I'm doing here? I'm squeezing my ink pad so that I get ink on the lid. If you don't like that, if that kind of I know some people are like, I don't like to make a mess of my ink pads, then I'm going to show you in I guess I should show you what I'm doing. I'm spraying this with my spritzer. I'm trying to do it over here so that I don't make a mess. I'll show you in the last project an, uh, an alternative to this. Okay, so I have sprayed it with just water in my spritzer. The reason I did that is because I wanted to kind of prime the paper, get it wet. I'm gonna take my water painter and I'm gonna squeeze so that the water comes out. If you're having trouble with your water coming out of your water painter. I have found that loosening the pressure right here helps and squeezing it for a while. Okay, so squeeze until that water comes out. And I'm going to mix this in here. And then I'm just going to kind of abstractly, is that a word? Abstractly add the sky. Nothing fancy. I'm not going to get crazy because you're barely going to see it. Okay, now I'm gonna just drop in some more color. Do, 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 do. Gotta make that noise too. All right, there we go, nothing fancy. Now, 
let's run this dry on here because this is how you get the color out because we're gonna switch colors now. Okay, run it on here. You can also just take it to the sink and run it through. Um, let me dry this. I don't, I don't mind doing this. I just don't want the water to get into my ink pad. All right, so close that up. PDF is post is up. Okay, good. Thanks, Carla, for checking that. She says my new PDF button is working. Now we're gonna stamp this little chicken. Yesterday, while I was making these videos, I realized I should really know the names of these chickens. And when we get to the corn, I don't know the names of the corn plant either. Maybe some of you can tell me. <laughs> Things you didn't think you would need to know to make a stamping video. Okay, I'm gonna stamp this cutie in stays on. And the reason I'm doing stays on is because I am water coloring. If we were gonna color with our Stampin' Blends, we would use the Memento. This is a alcohol ink, which isn't gonna run when I start to paint it with my ink and water. All right, you know what? I did not prime him very well. I didn't prime him at all, but we're gonna go for it. I don't want him to be real, real dark. So I've got some crumb cake and I'm just gonna start from the bottom and drag that color up. It's gonna get lighter as it goes. Okay, just a little bit. I did not want him to be kind of a weird, funky chicken color. I just want him to just kind of have some, ooh, that was a lot. Add some water, spread it out under his wing and around like that. All right, just light. And I'm gonna stop, I'm not gonna go any further. When it's dry, we're gonna come back and we're gonna color, whoa. Uh-oh, I'm almost out of water. I may have to go get some more. Hopefully I have enough for the next project. Um, when he's dry, we're gonna color in his comb and his waddle. You impressed with my vocabulary? I think that's what it's called. When I was teaching kindergarten and we did the turkey at Thanksgiving, that's what it was called. So I'm thinking a chicken has the same parts as, <laughs> as a turkey. It does dry lighter, you're right. Um, Melanie, you're right, it does. So hopefully that one, that one's kind of dark, but that's okay, because see, this one's pretty light. I just barely did any, and this is, a little bit darker. Either way, it's fine. Okay, now let's move on to my favorite stamp of all time, the Buffalo Check stamp. I mean, it's kind of like a given, right? This and the Chicken Wire stamp, which I didn't end up using. Um, I don't know why. I thought, I actually know why. I thought I was retired. But then I saw somebody else using it the other day and I realized it's in the catalog, isn't it? Yeah. Oh well, but it would go good. The chicken wire, what's it called? All wired up background stamp. All right, I have put this guy, this um, Buffalo background check stamp, Buffalo check background stamp <laughs> on my Stamparatus. And I'm gonna ink it up with real red. And get it nice and juicy. I've got my white paper over here and I'm just gonna stamp it. The reason I'm using my Stamparatus is because it just makes background stamping a whole lot easier. Um, when you do a background stamp, sometimes you don't get real good full coverage in certain places. So you can just come over, re-ink, and stamp again until you get coverage that you like. This um, stamp lives on this plate. It never leaves. That's how much I use it. All right, there we go. Look, isn't that better? Ta-da, beautiful. All right, we're gonna set that aside because red takes just a little bit longer to dry and it smears. So I'm gonna let that dry for a few minutes too. Now let's take a look at our little pieces. I have cut a bunch of them out already. Um, I have cut out my stalk, corn stalk, right? Look at the back, I have put adhesive backing on it. Um, we have a stitched um, circle. This is from the In Good Taste Designer Series paper, largest stitched circle in the wood grain paper. I've cut out a crumb cake sign and a soft suede sign. I have cut out, this is the part, Irene, I saw she said corn sock. Irene, what's this called, this part? Here's the corn, if I can pick it up. Here's the corn that I did in Bumblebee. And then this little, what do you call that? Mm. What do you, I cannot think of the, 
the corn silk, is that, I mean, when you peel corn, <laughs> does it matter? No, it doesn't matter. But yesterday when I was making my clean recording video, I was like, uh, what's that called? <laughs> I don't know. So anyways, I have three. You guys tell me. The husk, Catherine, the husk, you think? Yes, I think maybe you're right. Okay, so I have three of those. And we're going to put those together in a second. But before we do that, we are going to cut out the chicken wire. And if you haven't seen how to use the adhesive sheets, I'm going to show you. Our adhesive sheets come like this. They're on the adhesive page in our catalog. They're six by 12. And you get a lot of adhesive out of it. I always cut my paper relatively close to what the die is. And then I come over here and I peel up some of that adhesive. I'm gonna stick that down on there. And then you can stick it back down on this paper like that. And husk and, yes, silk is the hairy part. I kind of thought that too. Husk and silk is the tassels. Woo, look at you guys. I knew y'all would know. I knew y'all would know. Okay, so we've cut that out. And now there's our basic gray piece with adhesive on the back. And we're gonna cut out this chicken wire. Let's bring over the little baby today. The little baby. We also need to cut out our chicken. I think he's dry enough. All right, this is the mini cut and, mint, cut and emboss. He probably doesn't like me calling him the baby, but he's just so cute but I have to call him the baby. All right, we're gonna run this through. And this is a lot of cutting surface here on this, um, on this die. All those little holes have to be cut. So I'm gonna run it through twice. When you flip it over, you can see if it's cut through or not. If it hasn't cut through, then flip your die over like that, flip your paper over and run it through that way. For some reason, that makes a big difference. Um, usually if I can't get a die to cut all the way through, I will flip it upside down and it'll cut. But this one, this one cuts really well. Okay, now, before I do that, let me do this and then we'll move it out of the way. Let's get the chicken die. And we're gonna put that, I can't forget to finish coloring him. His waddle and his comb. Who has chickens? I bet somebody on here has chickens. My best friend from high school, Jackie, she has chickens. Every time I do a chicken stamp set or chicken project or chicken anything, I always think of her. She would know. She would probably know the names of these chickens. All right, there we go. So cute. Now we can move this guy out of the way. Let's go back to our, put it on the magnet, Erica, or you're going to lose it. I've got my take your pick tool. And I've got the dye brush attached. Boy, you guys are giving me all kinds of suggestions. Shuck, Irene. Shuck, I think that's what you do when you take the corn out, right? The tassel is on the top of the corn plant, the little where the silk comes to the point, right? <laughs> you guys are so funny. Um, Lisa, thank you for saying that my nails look nice. What you haven't noticed is that this one is broken. Look, see? And I was hoping to have it fixed before today, and it did not happen. I just could not get over there um, for her to fix it. It happened real fast this time, unfortunately. Usually, the girl does my nails. I never have a problem. I can go like three weeks with nothing changing, nothing happening. But for some reason, and you know what? I did it during the night. I woke up in the morning, and my nail was broken. Weird. What was happening? It was probably when I was punching my husband, making him stop snoring. Jeez. Okay, that was probably too much information. He'll probably be so mad that I said he was snoring, but hey, I'm the one that has to listen to it, buddy. Okay, and <laughs> we've got all of our pieces. Um, You know what? Let's put this together too. We're going to stamp. I wanted my sign to be two-toned, and I need to grab my soft suede. So I'm going to stamp um, the sentiment. It says... Have a happy day on the crumb cake sign. All right. Then I'm going to just take my scissors and cut the, the little post off. Um, Nina, you think your chicken is called a Henrietta? Like that's the kind of chicken? Henrietta? Or is that its name? That would be a cute name for a chicken. Henrietta. But I don't know. Kimberly, yeah, 
uh, the snoring, it makes me become very angry. I know I, I know I can't help it, but oh my gosh. Oh, it makes me very angry. I wake up very grouchy. That is another story for another time. Okay, let's cut this piece down. Um, let me grab my trimmer. I'm going to cut this down to four and five and a fourth. I started with a half half sheet of cardstock, um, basic white. That way I could use my magnets to hold it over on the side while I stamped. If you cut your piece before, well, let me measure this, five and a fourth. If you cut your piece down before you stamp it with that background stamp, you're gonna have no room on your paper to hold it with the magnets. So that's why I do it that way. I mean, you could all, you know what you can do is you can put a little bit of adhesive on the back of if you cut your piece down. And if you get your make and take kit from me, it will be cut down. Take your and your um, piece, put a little bit of adhesive on it, put it on your stamparatus, and then that way it'll stay. Just another little, a little tip for you. All right, we've got a thick, oh, <laughs> Kristen asked, um, everybody always asks me about that. What is the yellow on my trimmer? It's washi tape because I couldn't see the numbers. I was having a really hard time seeing the numbers. So I put washi tape on the back side to make it not uh, see-through. Does that make sense? Yeah. Oh, uh, what are you guys talking about, Lisa? I have a feeling I know what you're talking about. CPAP machines, is that what you're talking about? Uh, oh, breeze strips from Costco. Yeah, we've tried a lot. CPAP, I know, Debbie, he refuses to discuss it. I know. We'll get there. We'll get there eventually. All right, we're going to put this on a basic white card base. Y'all are preaching to the choir, believe me. I know. I know. I know. Um, let's put this down here. I know all about sleep apnea. Takes time, right? Takes time to convince. All right, that goes there with dimensionals. Now let's bring back our, hmm, look at that's kind of weird. Do we want that? I think I'll put that down there and I'll cover it up. We've got our scalloped rectangle, it's dry. I'm gonna put dimensional here, here, and here so that it'll be flat against that because that has dimensionals already on it. All right. Debbie, I have heard that too, yeah. It just improves the quality of your sleep so much. All right, there we go. Now, let's put our corn on here. I love these dies. They remind me of a dollhouse. Do you, did you guys have a dollhouse when you were little? I loved to go, we would go to Michael's and Michael's had like a dollhouse section. Do you guys remember that? It was like, there was a counter and someone worked back there and there was all this dollhouse stuff. You, she would bring it over and you could look at it. I don't, I loved that so much and like little Barbie food. And I loved all of that. So <laughs> these dies remind me of all of that. The, you know, where you would buy the little things for the kitchen, the little things for the bathroom little things for the bedroom. I just, I love these little dies. They, that's just makes it fun. Okay. So I've got one corn stalk there and I've cut off the bottom of that one to make it a little bit, um, shorter. Okay. Now the corn, I'm going to put the corn on the cob, or I should just call it the cob. Probably I'm going to put one here. And the problem with these nails is I can't pick anything up. I'm going to put one here like that, and then we'll put, oh, where's my, I need this thing there. I got it. And then we'll put one right there. You both have CPAPs and you sleep good. Isn't that funny how common it is? All right. Now I did put adhesive backing on the, what did we decide these were called? The husk? And I'm gonna, uh oh, hold on, hold on. Glue's not dry. There we go. And we'll get another one. <laughs> Lisa says my dog um, snores too. Oh, that's not called a cob, that's called an ear of corn. Man, you guys are with it. Um, Tina, it's real red. 
just good old real red. It looks a little bit darker right now, I think, because it's still a little bit wet. Well, it's not wet, but you know, it hasn't, it hasn't faded a little bit yet. Usually it fades as it dries. All right, come on. Adhesive is not wanting to come off. <laughs> of course not. There we go. Take your pick tool. It comes in handy for all kinds of things. Oh goodness. There we go. Now this card has a lot of pieces. I'll grant you that. I wouldn't want to make 50 of these probably, but I think it's cute if you just make one or two for a friend. Now here's our chicken wire right there, kind of behind covering up the corn. Then we'll get the sign and put that there. It does look like cherry cobbler, doesn't it? But it's not. Look, this was the original one. It's real red. It just hasn't faded. This is the one I did yesterday. And look, it looks darker too. Hmm. Who knows? All right, now, oh, but wait, but wait. We've got to get, I'm going to get my markers over here. I'm going to use my... Stampin' Right Markers. I'm not using my blends here because it's so small. I thought this fine tip marker would do a better job. So real red there. And then Bumblebee. Bumblebee has become my favorite yellow. It's such a good yellow. There. Now we're going to put this cute little Henrietta. Oh, hey, Mom. Millie is snoring right now. Yes, Millie snores. Addie doesn't want to sleep with Millie because she snores. Millie is my mom's dog, her corgi, and she does snore. The girls, when they spend the night, they used to want to sleep with Millie, but now because Millie snores, they're like, no, thank you. Millie needs a CPAP machine. All right, now we're not done yet. Hold on, but wait, there's more. I'm going to take my linen thread, and I'm going to wrap it around our cat gets snoring loud when he's deep sleepy. <laughs> I know. Um, I don't think my dogs snore. I don't think I've ever heard them snore. Maybe they do. All right, I'm just going to wrap it around a couple of times and tie a bow here. I probably pulled off too much thread, but it's too late now. We'll use this maybe for something else. And I'm going to tie it right there. And you can pull those while it's, you know, before you even cut them, just pull it, make it how you want it, and then snip and snip. And there we go. Isn't it so cute? The corn. Who would have thought that we would want or need corn dyes? <laughs> Me. I love them. So cute. Look, now I've got a set of three. Those would, those, you know, if you're a card maker and you sell your cards in a, a boutique or something I think these would sell really well because they're different they're cutesy and different just my opinion okay let me move all of the goods here we'll go to card number two put this over here all right card number two is what I'm calling farmhouse style a little Joanna Gaines that's kind of what I think. This paper, this designer series paper, again, is the In Good Taste designer series paper that's in the annual catalog. It's a great big stack, 12 by 12, um, and it's got all kinds of textures. That wood grain that we used a minute ago is from that stack. This one's kind of like fabric or carpet, um, and then that one, doesn't that look like farmhouse tile? Something Joanna Gaines would use? I think so. So those are the three pieces that we're using. Look, I, that one's good too. That looks like my mom. My mom loves blue and white anything, especially blue and white china. Okay, let's get started. This time we are going to stamp our little chicken. This, where did my stamp set go? It's buried over here. This time we are using, no, it's not here. Is it on the tray? Did I put it over there? It did. This time we're using this chicken right here, okay? This guy's super funny. I didn't use him, but he's so funny looking. We're gonna use this guy. All right, we're gonna stamp him in Memento because we are gonna use Stampin' Blends, so I can grab them all. We're gonna use Stampin' Blends to color him. 
So we're switching back to our water-based ink and we'll stamp him right there in Memento. And then I'm gonna take my crumb cake. Uh-oh, am I missing? Oh, here it is, okay. Crumb cake light. And I'm just gonna go around and I'm gonna leave his little tail and his wing white. So I'm gonna give him a full coating here of crumb cake light. Okay, all the way around. I probably should use my brush tip for this. All right, now I'm gonna get my dark crumb cake and I'm gonna come around his wing where there would kind of be like a shadow under his wing. Then I'm gonna come down here around on the bottom like that and underneath his neck right there. All right, then I'm gonna come back with that light and pull that color all together. It's gonna to blend really nicely. Now you guys, I did make clean recordings of these videos. So if you wanna come back and watch this again uh, later, the clean recordings are up on YouTube right now, ready for you. Uh, you can, you know, go to whichever one you want and it'll be much quicker than Facebook Live usually. I know, sometimes the chatter can be annoying when you're just like, get to the project, lady. <laughs> sometimes the chatter is fun, I know, but sometimes you're like, I just need to see how you did that, whatever. So that's what the clean recordings are for. All right, Cherry Cobbler, I did a bad job with that. Hopefully you guys can't see. <laughs> I got out of the lines. Bumblebee for his legs. Actually, what did I do on his legs? Where's my card? Yeah, I guess I did do Bumblebee. And then Bumblebee for his beak. Okay, now we're gonna cut him out. We're also going to emboss a piece of crumb cake with the, I have worked myself into a tiny little spot again. Hold on, let me make room. We're gonna use the Tasteful Textile embossing folder. Tasteful Textile? Tasteful, te yeah. Tasteful Textiles, it just doesn't sound right. The one that looks really just subtle. It's not the Subtles embossing folder, not to be confused, because they're very similar. It's the Tasteful Textiles. Now to do this, I'm gonna take all three of my top plates off. And I'm gonna put this on here. Did you guys know that there's a line on your die on your embossing folders? That's to help you line your paper up so that it's straight. Um, this pattern, I don't think necessarily would matter too much if it was a little bit crooked, but some of them, you know, you need them to be straight so that line helps. All right, so you put plate four on top of your embossing folder, run it through, and voila, there we go. All right, now we're gonna take that back and bring these plates back and we will cut out, man, what is happening? My hair is falling out everywhere today. That's weird. Get this matching die and let's see if I can get it to line up. I miss our magnetic platform, magnetic plate. Stampin' Up! still working on it. We haven't gotten a word about an improvement yet. Um, there we go. Oh, that was good. Perfect. All right, now I'm gonna still need this paper. I'm gonna save that, put my die back so I don't lose it. And let's start putting this card together. I guess I had paper set aside for that and I didn't use it. Where did I put all of my pieces? They're over here. This is, a, this is, a, this is the easy card today. Much faster than the other two projects. Okay. We're gonna put this down in the middle, and I think maybe I used dimensionals last time. Oh well, that's okay. And then we'll put this paper. The measurements for each of these pieces is on the PDF today, so you can grab that. Print it, save it, do whatever you want. It's free. Okay, now I have cut out a basic white. Um, stitched rectangle and then I have this 
blue tile piece that I'm gonna put right in the center. And we're gonna definitely put dimensionals on this guy. And then put that right there. Now, I have a couple of accessories that we're gonna put, oh wait, oh, I forgot to cut out my chicken wire again. I thought I had done it ahead of time, but I haven't, so let's do that real quick. Adhesive backing, put that on there, it's gonna make it easy. Snip, snip, and the baby come back over real fast on here. Hey, you guys, are you getting super like the cold blast this weekend? I think all of us in the United States are getting ready to be hit by this mammoth storm, right? Like even my friends up in Oklahoma are like, what's happening? This is crazy. Well, down here in South Texas, let me tell you, it does not snow here ever. Except for that one time when I was a kid, right, mom? Um, and my, I mean, we only have a handful of freezing days every year. Like that's, it doesn't get that cold down here. So they are saying that we're gonna have snow on Monday. They are saying, I heard the weather lady today say a great likelihood. The likelihood was very great of snow. So we're all getting excited, the whole town. We're all excited. I know those of you up, up north are like, oh God, we have had snow. Uh oh, did my battery die? Okay. My little vacuum. I keep forgetting to use it. I need to pull it up closer to me. Um, so anyhow, I know that some of you are like, ugh. Okay, so my mom is here, y'all. She says 13 inches in 1985. So when I was um, in, oh, did I do it upside down? That's all right. I see what you're saying. Yeah, I did it upside down. It's okay. It still works. Um, when I was, we moved to San Antonio when I was in third grade and my brother was little and we asked my mom if it was going to snow where we were moving. We were moving from Dallas. It wasn't that big of a move. And she was like, no, it never snows ever in San Antonio. So don't get excited. And we were like, what? Come on. And she's like, I'll pay you $50 if it snows. And so we were all excited, but she knew it was never going to snow. Well, guess what? It snowed 13 inches. <laughs> that winter, which is like never happened in the history of South Texas ever. You know, it was like super rare. So then every year we thought it was going to snow. And then of course it never snowed ever again. So that's kind of a funny family story. All right. Hopefully I didn't make that too long. It looks a little bit long. I took a piece of Midnight Muse. No, not Midnight Muse. Why do I keep calling it that? Misty Moonlight Ribbon. Folded it in half and tied a knot. All right. Now I'm going to, let's see, how do I want to do this? I think we'll put a little bit of Tombow on here because we're going to put some stuff on top of it to hold it down. And let's see, a little bit. Oh, Jen, you prayed for snow and it came on your birthday. That is exciting. That is exciting. A couple of years ago, well, I guess it's been about four or five years ago, it snowed the day before my daughter's birthday. Like a pretty good snow. And uh, by the next day, it was pretty much gone. But she was excited. It was uh, like for her birthday. All right, so we put that ribbon down. And now I'm going to take my linen thread again. Did I put it back over on the other tray? Probably. Um. No. Am I just looking at it? Yep, I am. It's right here. All right, I'm going to take my linen thread this time. I'm going to wrap it around four fingers and, whoops, came out. Hold on. Wrap it around four fingers and pinch like that. So you kind of have like a figure eight. Um, Norma, negative 20 in Quebec. No, you need to get on a plane and come down here. That's unhealthy. You do not need to live there. <laughs> but let me tell you that on Monday here, the low is 13. And that is like 
Like what? We've our thermometers don't even go that low here. That's ridiculous. So you might want to wait a week <laughs> before you come down. All right. So I'm gonna just keep that linen thread in a figure eight, and I'm gonna put dimensionals on top of it. I'm gonna sandwich it on top of that ribbon with oh come on with dimensionals. Why did I peel that off? And then let's get another one and do it again right there. And that's going to hold that all down. Hi, Pepper. Yes, Peps, I'm working. Mama's working. All right, and then chicken goes on top. Sandwiches it all in. There you have it. And that's going to hold both that ribbon and that twine down because you've sandwiched in all of those dimensionals. Now, let's stamp the sentiment with where's my ink right here i need to call the same inks it seems this time so I'm trying to keep them all centrally located so i'm going to stamp hey chick right there early espresso and then i'm going to take my classic label punch i could not remember the name denise just looked at hello to nine low on sunday you know, they keep changing it. Every time I look at it, it's lower and lower. Our, our thermometers are gonna not work. They're gonna be like, well, we don't know that number. We can't go any further below this 32, because that's all we do here. Did I cut that? Did I punch that on the wrong side? I wanted it over here, so it needed to be like that. However, no problem. We'll just put it on the other side. No problem. Um. Oh, Jamie taxes. Oh, I don't want to do my taxes. I, I, oh God, what is, it's already mid-February. I need to get on that. Yuck. All right, we're going to put that right there. And there you have it, your little farmhouse chicken. Did I, yeah, that red looks different. Is that pink? It looks like maybe I used a pink instead of a red. <laughs> it's a pink, pink chicken. All right, there you go, a little farmhouse, Joanna Gaines. Um, with an upside down chicken wire. That's all right. No problem. Who cares? It's still cute. Okay, there we go. One more project. Let me move all of this out of the way. And I got to really concentrate on this next project or I'm going to screw it up because I've made it several times and I screwed it up more than I got it right. So hopefully I can focus enough and stop chit-chatting to get it right. All right, let me clean up my space because we're gonna need some room here. This next project, I don't know what to call it. There may be a name for this kind of box. I've seen this on Pinterest and all that, but I don't know what it's called. So maybe somebody here will know. There's two different boxes that I've been wanting to make and I don't know what they're called. Here's our box. And look, it has little, like an angle here and then you open it like that. And inside is a big cat, Kit Kat. I'm sorry, but have you guys seen that? That is humongous. It's huge. And I knew that we had to make something for it. Got this at the grocery store. I got this, I had my groceries. We order our groceries online and they're delivered from our grocery store. <laughs> and I, found, I saw it and I was like, yeah, we need to get that. I didn't even have to go in the store. So then this, I have done it so many times now that it is like wonky, but then it goes in that box like that. Who knows? What is this box called? Yeah, Jamie, you like Kit Kat? Uh-huh. It's huge. It was like a dollar sixty too. It was expensive. Yeah, it was it was pricey. So it would be a good birthday present. You're still a spring chicken. Cute. Um, let's make no, we need to do the watercoloring first because we need it to dry. So let's bring over all of our goodies. And you know what, I think I cut my paper too long. Yeah, I noticed that yesterday. Let me just trim this down a little bit. We're gonna do watercolor paper again. Oh, in Nebraska, negative 20. You guys don't live there. That's not good for you. <laughs> Although in the summer, when I tell you it's 110 here, you'll be saying the same thing to me because ugh, it's awful. All right, we're gonna do the same little watercoloring, except this time we're gonna do a sky and a grass. Um, Tina, which comes first, the project or the treats inside? Funny you should ask that. Usually the treats come first. This time I made a box like this 
and I didn't know what to put in it. And it was way smaller than this. So then when I got that um, big Kit Kat, I redesigned the project to fit the Kit Kat bar. So I don't know, it's kind of like the chicken or the egg, which came first. All right, so I told you guys before, if you didn't want to put the ink inside your ink pad, there's an alternative. So you can get your two clear blocks and make a little palette for them. And I'm going to start here with my um, balmy blue. And hey, Carla, I've been playing around with the water painters and squeezing it and holding it and loosening up that barrel definitely helps. Carla and I were discussing the water painters this week. They're, they have a learning curve. They're different than the, the um, aqua painters that we had last time or before. All right, now I'm gonna take some old olive and I'm just gonna kind of go along here. Again, very abstract, just kind of dropping color in the water. I sprayed it with that uh, mister again and then I'm gonna leave it and that's it. Um, now, this one, after it dried, I went back and added another layer. See how that kind of offers a, a um, deeper color and kind of two layers. So if you want that, go back after it's dry and do the same thing again. Okay, so let's move that out of the way and close up our ink pads. And we're gonna make this box. Has anybody told me what this box is called? What do we call it? Let's see. Um, Melanie, go pull up the PDF, um, the measurements on that PDF there. Hmm. I don't know what this box, what we're, what we're calling this box. I, I'm not the inventor of this box, but I, what, the one that I saw on Instagram was in a foreign language, so I didn't know what she was calling it. <laughs> I just figured it out. Okay, what you're going to need. Now, look, guys, right here measurements all right here watercolor five five and five eighths two and three eighths all right this is a seven and a half by seven and three fourths piece of real red on the long side we're going to do one inch and six and three fourths and that pdf is over at pinkbuckaroo.com just scroll down you'll see the button um it would make a cute slimline card wouldn't it jen you're right then turn it to the short side, and this is almost a square, so make sure you're watching. That's what kept screwing me up. Um, it's seven and a half and seven and three fourths. So seven and a half is the short side, and we're gonna do half an inch, one and a half, four, and five. Now we're not done scoring. We're gonna do some angled scoring. These two squares right here, see there's two here and two here. We're gonna do score lines going up and in on both ends, on both ends of the cardstock. So get just keep your stylus and get a straight edge, a ruler, your bone folder, whatever, and draw put a line there from corner to corner. And then do the same over here, corner to corner. Then turn and do the same thing, corner to corner. The fun thing about this box is that there's no cutting. You know, usually we cut and we trim, we snip, we do all that. You're not gonna do that on this one. Okay, so there is what your piece looks like, right? We added those little diagonals. It's really important to burnish your lines really, really good. Louisa says she lost the sound. Anybody else lose the sound? Sometimes if that happens, just close out, you know, come back, refresh, because that happens to me sometimes too. All right, burnish all these lines. Now come over here to those lines that you made. What is that on my cardstock? And fold, kind of go back and forth with that diagonal. All right, make it, break down that cardstock, make it kind of bendy. We want it to bend to our will. Okay, good. You guys can still hear me. Thank you, Lisa, for telling her. All right, there we go. Now, um, I'm going to use my stamp and seal, but I would recommend stamp and seal plus tear and tape or Tombow. But I'm just going to go for it because I don't know where my stamp and seal plus is. 
So I've put adhesive all the way across there. I'm gonna fold in and then fold over and they should line up. They should line up. <laughs> if you cut your paper straight, they should line up. Oh, come on. Why does that look like it's so far over? There we go. Maybe I started with a crooked piece of cardstock. That would be normal for me. All right, there we go. That's what your box looks like. Now, before we fold this in, I'm gonna add some thumb holes, some little, well, that's not really the word, a notch so that I can pull it out, okay? And I'm just gonna take up a, a little circle punch and punch right there. Then, this is gonna fold down and in. Did you see that? Let's do it again. You're gonna fold down and in. Yeah, I thought we were gonna get lucky today and have no barking. I don't know what they're barking at. Okay, let's put this, I have one more Kit Kat here. And I'm seeing that my paper's crooked right here. Yeah, it is. Hopefully my daughter will come down and corral that. There we go. So down and in, and right where that fold is are your sides. All right, see that? We need a name for this. I don't know what to call it. Millie can hear them, Mom. Oh my gosh, that is funny. She perked up. Millie, or, Millie and Peps are best friends. So I'm sure Millie's like, what is happening? My bestie is here. Okay, we're gonna stamp. Why don't I bring all of this over? I keep leaving it over there. We're gonna stamp the little birthday dude, little birthday chick. All right, we're gonna color him with stamp and blend. So I, I um, stamped him in memento. And I'm gonna color him like we did the donkey. Was it the donkey that we did this way? I'm gonna go around the edge. I love this. I've been doing this a lot since I saw that card. Around the edge. And then I'm gonna take my tuck-in box, Kathy. I like that, tuck-in box. Yeah, that's a good name. I'm gonna take my color lifter and just pull that ink to the middle. All right, I'm gonna come over here, do a little bit of that and pull that color, make it really, really light so that it's just kind of a shadow. All right. Now, what time is it? Oh yes, we're so late. That's all right. It's too cold for us to go anywhere. We're just all stuck inside, right? There we go, and his beak. So that's pumpkin pie, and then we will get our daffodil delight and color his little his little body. And last but not least, real red. That is melon mambo. I used melon mambo on that other guy. Real red. There we go. I don't know, I had Melon Mambo for another project I did earlier today, maybe that's why. Okay, so we're gonna cut them out. Now, I wanna show you, my friend Kay and I were just talking about this die. This is the hutch, and it looks like this. When you cut it out, it looks like this, but I don't like it all in one color. So we're gonna paper piece it together with red, white, and soft suede. So I'm gonna use a little bit of my adhesive sheets. Boy, I've used this on all, all the projects today, haven't I? Cut this piece out. And some of you may say, no, nope, Erica, this is too much work. And if that's the case, that's the case. That's totally fine. But I'm going to show you how to do this in case some of you want to give it a try. Let me bring that over. It's a wrestle match. All three dogs here wrestling while well, mommy's making a video. It's always how it is, isn't it? Hi, Kay, there's Kay. We were just talking about it, Kay. I'm gonna show you. It's a little bit of, of work, a little labor intensive, but it's worth it. All right, let's get this out. Chicken coop, what did I call it, Nina? Did I call it a 
What did I call it? I thought I called it a chicken coop. All right, let's get our little birthday dude right here. Oh, I need a magnet for this. Let's see, will he stay? Stay where you're at. Did I call it a barn? I might have. Hutch, chicken coop, hutch. Isn't that the same thing? Rabbit hutch, that's what we called it. I guess maybe not. It looks the same, and we had a chicken coop for our rabbit hutch. <laughs> okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the brown, the soft suede on the bottom. And I'm gonna take my real red and trim off the legs on the red one, okay? Peel off that adhesive and I called it a hutch is it not so is that not a chicken hutch I guess that doesn't that doesn't sound right does it chicken coop all right now look where I'm going to cut off the white I'm going to cut off the the legs and the roof okay so I'm just going to take my paper snips which by the way if you want to get some paper snips they're on back order right now till March 1st I believe Mom, I know you got some paper snips in your starter kit. You're gonna have to wait a few weeks. All right, go all the way around. Snip all that off. Because we've used that adhesive sheet, this is gonna be really easy to put down. All right, so that's what we have left. And I'm just gonna pull that off. Chickens are female, you called them him, <laughs> Karen. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> that's funny. All right, there we go. Now, I'm also going to come over here and cut out this trim right here for the barn door. All right, there we go. And now it gets a little persnickety. You were wishing you had them this morning, Mom. I know they're coming. They'll be there soon. I'd give you some of mine, but mine are all gunky. You need a new pair. Occasionally, I just order a couple extra to replace my gunky ones. They're only $9.95, $9.99, $10. All right, so now we have this little door frame left. And this is where you're like, why do I have long nails? I can't get this to peel off. Let's see if I can get it. Adhesive. There we go. This is where the take your pick tool comes in handy. I don't know where mine is. And then we're just going to stick that right there. And look how cute. Right? So cute. Your chicken coop. <laughs> okay. Let's put this together. We have got our dimensionals. Is there not a boy chicken? I'm guessing that would be a rooster. Right? Are all boy chickens roosters? They all turn out to be roosters. <laughs> Karen, she says, this Iowa knows corn and chicken. I'm glad you're here today, Karen. That's funny. She's like, you're right up my alley. All right, so there's our watercolor piece. And roosters are boy chicken. <laughs> Who knew this is the conversation we'd be having? That's really funny. And dimensionals. And we're going to put him. He's like dancing. Now, all we have. Oh, no, we've got two things left. Let's stamp the sentiment. It says, you're still a spring chicken. And I'm going to stamp that up here on the edge of this white cardstock. Get my trimmer. Trim it just to, you know however high, however tall the words are. Then we need our tailored tag punch or your pick a banner punch. And we will put dimensionals right there. That makes it look like a barn, Darcy. It does, right? I know, now it's a, a hutch that looks like a, a hutch, a coop that looks like a barn. <laughs> you guys. Very detail-oriented. The chicken dance music playing in the background, Carlo. Oh, my gosh. I think that people would hang up. They'd be like, ugh. All right. 
Art making involves lots of disciplines. Yes, it does, Mother. It does. All right, a little linen thread. We have used linen thread on all three projects today. It's a little perfect for chickens. Now, one last thing. I wanted to put some contrast down here, on here. So I have cut two Daftil Delight um, pieces of designer series paper. They are one by two and a half. I'm not sure I put that on the, the list. And I'm just gonna put them down there. And actually that print is cute too. That kind of looks like chicken scratch. All right, we'll put that, oops, hold on. Put that one right there. And there you have it. I've got three birthday treats ready to go. What do you guys think? That's that box, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a little weird. But I have, I have saved it and I wanted to make it and I like it. I think we're gonna need to try that in some different sizes and shapes, that little angle closed box. Okay, so we're done. We made the Kit Kat boxes. We made the over the top chicken in the corn <laughs> and then the farmhouse um, card. Now, to, or not tomorrow, Monday, I have another video for you. It's this card. So be watching for that. And I should have pulled out, what did I do with that other card? Hold on, I have three other cards that I need. These two are copies from um, a publication Stampin' Up! sends us. So I just made those. Funny, look how cute that is. Look how they did that tone on tone with that chicken wire there. I like that. Really simple and easy to reproduce. And then this is the one that was on the blog yesterday. Look at the little bow die. Isn't it cute? Um, this is the one I thought I should have used the chicken wire stamp in the back. I was going to change it and then I didn't. Anyhow, that's it. So remember, we've got Hey Chick and Hey Birthday Chick. They go together. Um, indented box, Kathleen. I like that indented box. Um, if you're going to get one, you should get two. If you're gonna, if you can only get one, I think you should get this Hey Chick because the dies are so good. Um, the dies are pretty good over here, but this one has more. This one has the corn. This one has the fence, the banner, the bow. You need both, I mean, honestly. <laughs> Remember, they are online only. The stamp sets in the catalog. The item number for those bundles are on today's PDF. If you go to the store and you click at the top what's new, it'll bring up all the new chicken stuff that you can see. Okay, that's it for today. If you guys want me to send you a make and take of each of these next week, make sure your order is in by Monday at midnight, um, $35 minimum. If your order is over $150, please do not use the host code because you'll get free stamp and rewards. Don't forget celebration ends the end of February and happy Valentine's Day, Nina. Yes, happy Valentine's Day, you guys. Um, hopefully you stay warm and are treated special on Sunday. I will be back next Friday, same time, two o'clock. You guys have a great one. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.